Hey, what's going on guys? Daniel here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make the insane effect that you have just seen on screen. Uh, without further ado, let's get straight into the tutorial. All right, once we have imported the clip into After Effects, we are going to start by color coding a couple of regions. So this effect can get quite advanced, so it's very, very important for us to keep, you know, managed and just make sure that we don't uh, lose some important uh, aspect or whatever. Uh, so just go ahead and head over to this bottom left part, click on the new and shape layer. We're gonna start off by just making a, a big uh, sort of white uh, shape in the middle right here for the, uh, the vignette. Uh, this is going to be the vignette region, so just make sure that it is central. Just go into the align and center it uh, just like that. I click on fill and make it white. Uh, now what we need to do is make a couple more of these spheres for the different effects that we're going to have uh, sort of around the entire thing. So just go off to the side here, just make two of these new uh, sort of white shapes, I would say. And uh, what you need to do now is make one of these sort of blue and one of them red. You can obviously choose the colors yourself, however these are the ones that I'm going to be using for the tutorial. Uh, lastly, we'll make one more just new and a solid or not new solid. We'll make a new shape. That's my bad. Uh, make a new shape and we uh, make this sort of the same size as the other two. Uh, maybe even a bit smaller and more, you know, sort of that shape. Uh, and we set the fill to a browner note. All right, now it is time for us to start positioning these around the track right here. You're going to want to go to your impact which should be roughly uh, here for me. I cannot really see because I've done this in the incorrect order, but it should be roughly around here. There we go. Uh, now we need to go to the uh, the blue one first, or whichever one you decided to substitute the blue with. Uh, I'm going to make it a whole lot bigger. I'm just going to go ahead and actually center the anchor point before we continue. Center the anchor point, uh, do that. I'm going to drag it under the main shape layer, so I'm just going to duplicate it. Do something like that. Uh, next, what we're going to need to do is just take this uh, red thing and just drag it to the center. Uh, now, just go ahead and duplicate this elliptical thing. Just go ahead and drag it in there and the second one there. Uh, now, we need to add one more shape and it is going to be another uh, sort of these elliptical things and it is going to be sort of like that. We just drag that in there and we make it r sort of pinkish, uh, probably a bit less ghostly than that, but something along th these lines, I would say. All right, that is going to be it for today's tutorial. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. <laughs> if you didn't, remember to like down below, comment, subscribe, all the good shit, and I'll see you guys in a couple days, and peace.